Yes. Okay. Okay. So, um, hello everyone. We would like to talk about the OpenStack uh, solution which we use for a radio access uh, network virtualization. My name is Robert Neumann. I'm cloud engineer for Open Telecom Cloud. And this is Professor Andreas Hartmann from the Hochschule for Telecommunications in Leipzig. Um, about the motivation of this project, um, the, we expect for the diversity of the 5G use cases um, that uh, requires a lot of uh, flexibility um, that should be adaptable and um, a programmable architecture. Um, also, the um, vendors like um, Deutsche Telekom, Nokia and Huawei uh, work on concepts as well as practical implementations. And our uh, colleague of Andreas, uh, the professor Michael Einhaus from Hochschule für Telekommunikation in Leipzig provides a research project to, um, uh, for new key technologies in, in this context. Uh, the Hochschule for Telekommunications in Leipzig and the Open Telecom Cloud analyze uh, OpenStack as a possible cloud architecture. About the Open Telecom Cloud, it's an OpenStack platform um, and it, which offers a wide range of services. Um, for this project, uh, we use some uh, services like the Compute Research, that's the Elastic Cloud Server, the Image Management Service to provide some images, the storage and network components for external IP addresses for the connection to the OTC, and beside them the routing service and some management security services like firewall and encryption for the volumes. For future work, it is necessary to consider the use of the cloud container engine, which is the uh, Kubernetes service of this platform. And yeah, now Andreas will explain about the use and the uh, project itself. Yeah, thank you, Robert. So um, as Robert said, I'm a researcher and my main topic is IT architecture. So I'm pretty familiar with uh, cloud architecture concepts. And when Professor Einhaus came to me and said, okay, there's a big change in the 5G technology uh, since they are moving from many hardware-specific software which runs on the client side to centralized software. Uh, they need to change architecture and concepts. And I said, so maybe you're speaking about cloud architecture. Why don't we use something like OpenStack for this? So to understand what we do, this is just the plain architecture of our LTE or radio access network. Important to know is that we have two parts. It's which is on the right-hand side, the EPC, the overall packet core, taking care of the uh, uh, controls and, and uh, the data exchange between the uh, user uh, um, environment and uh, the, is what we call an antenna. So in the second part, this is a radio access network or the uh, so-called ENB, E-Node B uh, component. And to bring this to a new level and in terms of cloud architecture, I propose three steps to Professor Einhaus. So the first step is we have to virtualize uh, all the components. Um, this has been done by introducing the open air interface. So with the open air interface, we were capable to bring all the different software components from the eNode Bs uh, beginning to the uh, um, EPC core network on uh, our container technology. So in the first place, we did use Docker because we know it. But Docker can be replaced with any other technology that fulfills the requirements. So this was the first part. And, and this solution still runs on a client PC in, in our environment. So the second step is to bring the containers into our cloud technology architecture. So next slide, please. Thank you. The next step is we, we choose some of the components and then Luckily, we, we had a cooperation with Do Deutsche Telekom, and we brought uh, the containers to the Open Telecom Cloud. And this actually works, so we have proof of concept, we did some measurements, and as you easily understand, there's a big bottleneck uh, in, in the VPN tunnel. So uh, the more clients you have, uh, the higher the latency times get. So, and we speak of latency, lower than one millisecond. So obviously, we have to do something more. So, but the first thing is um, all the components uh, in the open air interface that now run on the Open Telecom Cloud can be 
managed, centralized. Just imagine in future we need some more capabilities in the LTE network and we do this just by pushing a button when we boot some more EP, uh, uh, EPC core network nodes so we can increase the capa uh, uh, um, capabilities of the network. So there's one more step uh, and that's something we actually, actually work on. Um, we introduce an edge concept. So using the advantages of OpenStack architecture like centralized managing, like automated installation, automated managing, um, we include the client side, which we call the local end, we include the client side into the cloud concept. So now the BBU and the uh, radio head hardware uh, um, becomes part of the OpenStack architecture. Now the latency issue is over here, so between the thing we call an antenna and the BBU unit. So uh, when we run the BBU, physically at the client side, we can manage those latency times and those latency requirements, and we can still use the advantages of centralized automation and centralized management. Um, actually, we're still working on that issue. Uh, we have to create uh, the uh, local nodes where we use like Neutron and Nova. Uh, we have to do some more measurements uh, to see if that works. And I'm really looking forward uh, to, yeah, to, to uh, determine uh, new technologies like uh, Starling X, uh, different container technologies. And yeah, unfortunately, Professor Anas couldn't manage to join this, uh, us today, so he could explain more from the uh, 5G uh, components. So, well, okay. The project is still in progress. Next things we do, as I said, we create the Edge Cloud solution. We install Neutron and Nova, so we have a cooperation with, with Huawei. We install the nodes right in our environment. We connect this to the Open Telecom Cloud, so it all works together. And then we take care of, uh, of um, security issues as well as uh, the connectivity between the EP EPC core network and the radio access network components. And we try to find how low can we get with the latency times. And just as I said, in future, the, the overall goal is to, or the overall objective is to automate as many things as we can. And together with Professor Einhaus, we're still trying to figure out how many software components that now work together can be split into different parts so we can decide which parts of the software needs to be run physically as close as we can get to the antenna and which parts can be moved to the cloud like centralized software. So this is many much more work to do and we are always all, uh, happy about information uh, exchanging experiences, so if you like to know more about the project, don't hesitate to contact us or don't hesitate to ask questions. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you. Any questions? So it was pretty fast because we only had 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, sorry, sorry, I can't understand you. <laughs> no. Hard oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so there were some approaches using hardware acceleration uh, in terms of security. Like uh, we can uh, uh, increase uh, uh, performance uh, with um, hardware encrypting. So, but not more right now. Sorry? We are running uh, all the components, all the EPC core network components, uh, we run them in containers. Right now we're using Docker. 
and the containers are, are, are being run in uh, virtual machines on the Open Telecom Cloud. So it's no specific hardware. It's a complete. They have been completely virtualized. And we still, st still do some performance measuring, so we can figure out um, what, what gives us better, better performance, a virtual machine or a container using Docker instead of other, the other uh, uh, technologies. Also, you're asking why we're using containers instead of virtual machines. So, so right in a moment, it's just for proof of concept. We just wanted to know if it runs. And we still are, as I said, we try, still try to figure out which technologies work best together. So right, yeah, the containers are used. Uh, but there's a re reason because um, only one container has one service inside. So the VM includes a stack of containers, and um, so you can manage all servers separately, not by a directly uh, virtual machine. The virtual machine um, is an, um, something like a an, an, an layer on top of the infrastructure of the OTC. And on top of these, we have the, uh, own, uh, the single containers to separate and manage all in uh, the infrastructure by uh, the application to separate this. Yeah. So basically, we're thinking results in two layers. So we have an in infrastructure layer providing virtual machines, and on top of that, an application layer, which is being supported by uh, containers. Thanks. Thank you. Okay.